so there is the new rack installed and uh, these are just the indicators for when the relays are being triggered as a result of various note values so there's six of those uh, time echo fast start and stop and cutter head lift um, I will be making some nice uh, stickers you know glossy printed laser printed stick stickers for the interface panel but you know for now I'm just sticking with functionality I don't really care about aesthetics um, this guy at the end is an indication of the digital potentiometer so it's a dual pot one of the potentiometers is just used to display on that LED the other is used to um, actually vary resistance for this so right now it's fully on and that's keeping the cutter head from going down uh, that is continuous controller value number 91 so in MIDI uh, 91 represents uh, depth effect depth so I figured that would be a good uh, continuous controller value to use so you can see right here I've drawn an envelope and that represents the head going down and it goes down nice and smooth hits disc and then comes up very very quickly this is just a drum loop that I wrote and then exported and it is exactly 1.8 seconds in length so it's looping so I just did a test cut with that sounds and works great and so that's uh, <clears throat> that part of it if I was to rewind here and hit play you'll hear the audio but also too I'm gonna turn around here and show you uh, oh, that green LED is going to go from being what it is right now to being very bright to back to what it is So, I'm not monitoring feedback, sorry, I was monitoring the pickup, so let's try again, there we go. So you can see it's going to be timed with the music, it got most intense right when the music started and then it uh, very quickly goes back to that state right after 1.8 seconds and so that makes a great loop <clears throat> the other features that I added are control of remote control of start and stop and lift so my original box only had time echo and fast as automated features so now I'm automating start and stop and lift so I can for instance right now I can stop the wave or I can start it and uh, you know, hitting the lift right now won't do anything that you could see but uh, under normal circumstances it would drop the depth gauge right now the depth gauge just totally dropped because I am using the digital potentiometer I'm gonna now show you how I can very easily go back to normal. Okay, so my installation, um, I made a little jack here, TSR, so when you unplug it, it's now got the normal uh, routing for depth. It's no longer going through my digital potentiometer. Okay, so now we're back on in the depth that's provided by the system 100%. I'm not interfering with it at all. And what I'm going to do is hit the lift button, and you're going to see the depth gauge, boom, go down. And if I just hit start, that will reset it. With the tape remote start, which is a card that if you do not have, I can make for you. Uh, this will now start playback automatically in my DAW right after the lead-in groove. So I'm going to hit fast. Right there, the leading groove would start, 
and you can see time okay right at the end of the leading groove Okay, lock group test from the four. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Wow, that's really nice. That's a great transition.